In these last days. The message of Hebrews. The letter to the Hebrews and to us. Lesson 1. Memory verse. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Hebrews 10, 36. The book of Hebrews is all about encouraging people to believe and follow Jesus. It challenges those believers to live according to the Word. Paul knows all about the struggles of believers. But he wrote the letter with inspiring words so that we would accept truth. Get through trials. Avoid temptations to falter, and persevere to the end. The book of Hebrews is full of Jewish references. But it contains practical advice to Christians today. 5 Ways We Can Use Hebrews Today The Truth Enduring Trials Facing Challenges of Faith Our Work as Believers And Facing the Future The Book of Hebrews God, who at various times and in various ways, spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets. Hebrews 1, 1. The book of Hebrews is not written like any other letter in the Bible. It is a sermon. It could be considered the first known written sermon. This work is a word of exhortation. The author uses us, we, and our. He pleads for hearing what is being spoken. In actuality, it is a discourse or debate, telling the reader to listen to explanations. And be excited to believe. Knowing the truth. How shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. Hebrews 2, 3 The Hebrews who were reading this lecture, did indeed believe in Jesus. But they had never seen him. They heard about him from those who had. And saw these men do miracles and use the power of the Holy Spirit. These Jews were apparently mature Christians. They received Jesus. The forgiveness of sins. And the Holy Spirit. Suffering for Christ. Remember those earlier days after you had received the light, when you endured in a great conflict full of suffering. Hebrews 10, 32. These Jewish believers suffered many things. They were insulted, persecuted, jailed, beaten, and robbed of their possessions. Paul exhorted them to persevere. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Hebrews 10, 36 The Challenges of Faith The persecution had an impact on the Hebrews. Paul's advice highlights some of their issues. Temptations For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. Hebrews 2, 18 Unbelief Beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God, but exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Hebrews 3, 12, 13 Weakness For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Hebrews, 4, 15 Keep gathering together. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Hebrews 10, 25 For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. Therefore strengthen the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. Hebrews 12, 3, 12 and 13 Abstain from sin Marriage is honorable among all, and the bed undefiled, but fornicators and adulterers God will judge. Let your conduct be without covetousness, be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews 13, 4 and 5 
do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines. For it is good that their heart be established by grace, not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. Hebrews 13, 9 In the Old Testament, the prophet Elijah started with great faith, but faltered. In 1 Kings 19, God treated Elijah very gently in his lack of trust. God still had faith in Elijah and trusted him to keep working. Hebrews 13 tells us that Paul treated the Hebrews the same way. Paul had affection for them and was gentle in his approach. He told them to keep up the work in various ways. Keep loving. Be hospitable. Help prisoners. Aid the abused. Imitate pastors. Like Paul, we are living in the last days and we are waiting for the fulfillment of the promises. Has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. Hebrews 1, 2 Hebrews recalls the issues the people of God had to face before entering Canaan. And their unbelief. We are encouraged to cling to our faith, to fix our eyes on Jesus, to live a life of holiness, and to fully trust God. We are still amidst the shadows and turmoil of earthly activities. Let us consider most earnestly the blessed hereafter. Let our faith pierce through every cloud of darkness and behold him who died for the sins of the world. Let us be encouraged by the thought that the Lord is soon to come. Let this hope gladden our hearts. Yet a little while. And he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Hebrews 10:37. Blessed are those servants who, when their Lord comes, shall be found watching.